Hello, hello, hello to everyone. We're going to be learning another hack today, and it is basically utilizing the PDF function so we can take a regular PDF and make it something where our kiddos can actually type in it. And if we're utilizing it in activities like Schoolology, you can actually just send that and students are able to fill it out in there and just email it back. You don't have to worry about printing or all of those other things. We're actually going to learn this doing it the hardest way, which makes it very easy if you already have a PDF um, it makes it very simple. I am going to create an assignment from scratch. So I have an assignment in Word. This is my Word assignment. And so I'm going to take this Word assignment and create it first to make it a PDF so I can show you what we are trying to do. So I'm going to File and Save As. Take this document, put it in my documents. I'm going to save it as quiz, Math Quiz Paper in it PDF even though it's going to say it itself I'm just doing it to show you this and I'm going to go save as type and go to a PDF document here and I'm putting it in documents so I'm going to go ahead and save it for that case so what happens in this way is that if you have a story if you have anything that's already in Word you're able to just take that item and change it to a PDF and you're going to be able to build and do things from it. So one thing I did not show you um, in this PDF, I already had spaces here. If you have the Word document, you don't have spaces, you want to be able to create those spaces so all of that can be done. But I'm working with something that already had spaces so you can edit it in Word. Okay, going now to... The website, this is it here. You're going to pdfescape.com. All you have to do is type in escape.com. Windows automatically comes up. If you're nervous about that, let me show you real quick. I'm just going to type in up here, PDF Escape. Come on, baby. Work with me. We can make this fast and free. If I know how to spell escape, please. So if you just type in PDF Escape, you see how it automatically pops up. Just want to let you know so you don't have to worry about getting it perfect each time. You're going to go to this side. You're looking for the free online. Of course, you can definitely um, patronize them and shop and buy. It's a great tool to have, but this is for something that's quick. I'm going to free online. I'm opening it. I am going to upload PDF to PDF Escape. This is drop file here. There's two ways you can choose your file or you can open up your file folders here and simply just do a quick drag over. Sorry, it's taking a second to read because I probably have so many windows open. In fact, let me go ahead and shut it down and do it one more time where I am looking in my documents. Don't be all in my business. And I named this math quiz paper PDF, there it is. So I actually did the open one. I'm sorry, I was supposed to drag it. So we're gonna go ahead and do the wonderful waiting game because I hit the wrong button, but it's still very fixable. And I am going to do a drag. Now, of course, like I said, you can do an upload, but I am dragging the file. So it said drop PDF, did it read? Do it one more time. There it is. You want to make sure it's highlighted. It takes no time to upload. It's being processed at this point. So while it's being processed, you're looking here. These are all the things that you can do. We're going to really worry about form fill. So in form fill, you're going to click that. And it tells you type text, text paragraph, check box, radio, drop down, all these things. For this one, I'm going to do a text paragraph. I'm going to hit select. So everything I'm creating at this point in time is a text paragraph. I'm clicking. Once again, text, paragraph, select, and then I'm able to just make my box here. And it's going to allow me to put text and I can size it however I choose to. I make another box. All I've done is click. 
and you're going to kind of play with this in that way. I don't want to create an entire, um, what we call it, um, thing because I'm trying to just show you quickly. But it's very simple to turn around and just move it however you want to, resize it, delete it, and create what you need in order to make that happen here. So this is when it's the text box. So you're able to create a lot within it. If I wanted to turn around and do just a regular field, I'm going once again to your text. Instead of your text paragraph, going to text, select, and once again, creating what I need. So it's there. Um, for this case quickly, like I said, I'm going to keep this really nice and quick. So I'm only going to make a couple boxes so I can show you what it looks like in the upload. Now, of course, if I was assigned it, I will create all of this and do this. I can put it down here and I can make one individually for each of the students because I'm using it for my students to put in the information that they need. Once you've completed this to the best of what you want to do, you're coming over here. You have save, but the green dots are save and download PDF. So we're hitting that. It's saving and downloading, and of course it goes to where your downloads are. So once it's completed, you hit open, but you actually have the file now. I'm just going to open to show you what you actually have here. Um, it's now your downloads, and here... This is an example of a dilation, which I probably spelled wrong, using scale factor. There it is. And the kids are able to use this just the way it is. They're able to download it, type in it, and save and complete all these things. You kind of see the discoloration where you're able to put in. And basically, you have your PDF editable, ready to use, simple like that. Um, yeah, spell check really messes with me. Um, so this is it. This is utilizing the PDF function so we can actually create worksheets that are very, very easy to use with online learning, digital, can stay digital, don't have to waste a lot of paper. We can save the trees, please, and continue working in this manner. Thank you so much for joining me for another hack, and um, I will see you next time.